All right, I made a few modifications. I moved the uh, lab inside. It was colder than a frog's bottom out there this morning, and I decided uh, I better make a little bit of stuff. I went down to the, uh, just happened by the auto parts place, and picked up an assortment of little tees and unions and stuff. I imagine you can get this at a uh, aquarium shop or something like that. These are pretty handy little things to have in our lab. I modified or I modified my cell. Come through the side with the bolt. This is the uh, little clamshell design. Sure hooks is uh, clamshell. And so it ought, be, it ought to be able to handle a little bit more juice than what I had. And what I've done, I modified my cell. Let's see if I can do this. If the light lets me do it. I put my uh, check valve on the top of this. I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm using the check valve here. It is the acrylic that this little container is made out of really won't handle a great deal of pressure. And so by putting that check valve up at the top up there, it's a method of reducing any hydraulic back pressure that might happen. If you get a if you get a flashback through your system, it, it creates a hydraulic spike and comes back into the container, and it might burst the uh, container. Because you're talking about you're talking maybe as much as a thousand or two thousand psi instantaneous uh, hydraulic pressure whenever it back spikes. I won't be doing I won't be doing any uh, actual production as I'm waiting for the uh, marine techs up here to dry. That's a uh, very good material. This just happens to be the black color. We'll talk about that a little bit later. There's the old power supply. Same old power supply I've been using. Little added little thing here. What this is is just basically a uh, like a, a timer that you would use for a light in the bathroom or something like that. Connected up to a little AC plug. It gives me a way to uh, kind of halfway measure the amount of time that, a, that a, an experiment is going on. Pretty handy little device. You can use it for a lot of things. Just all it is a timer and a plug. All right. Made a new little bubbler. See? Nice little bubbler. All this is just a black pepper container. It's just a spice container. Nice little small bubbler. It uh, looks like it's going to work out quite well. I'm going to I'm going to test it here pretty soon. All right, now this is something that every one of us needs to make. Check it out. That let me move this around. This here is a manometer. It's a gas manometer. It's a differential manometer. I don't know if you can see it too well. What it is, it's two, um, two syringes mounted on some T's and some little caps put on the end on top of a uh, uh, CD uh, container. And uh, I'm going to use this for measuring differential pressures. I'm going to use it for a lot of different things. Uh, in the test setup in order to uh, optimize our test a little bit. This one here happens to be a 3cc. These are 3cc syringes. I have another one that I'm in the process of producing right now. This one here, this one here is graduated in half cc units. It's 3 sixteenths, nice little manometer. Uh, very handy, very handy for these micro measurements and stuff like that. As you can see, um, you can see this or not, like get over the micro here. Let's see. Maybe I was in micro. So, um, I guess it's just not going to come out. Anyhow, um, Let's come out this way. Yeah, it's half cc units. 
this thing is only about three tenths it's only it's very small this is three sixteenths uh, piping tubing in here once I find a piece of three sixteenths I'm not gonna go out and buy any very handy little device easy to make you all you got to do is just bore out the little uh, pipettes or the uh, the all you got to do to build one of these you take a drill and drill out this uh, little needle container little needle holder here and make it so that it's the same size all the way through the tube and there you go neat little uh, little device excellent for measuring small uh, pressure differential like I said this one's only 3 cc if you need a larger one take a piece of uh, your tubing measure the weight of your water that you're going to put in there you can run it up 3 or 4 feet and make yourself a water manometer it's very easy to do very simple to do my little uh, bubbler my little water manometer my new setup on the uh, plates in my container same old power supply and uh, I'm going to get back into discussing what the, the tube is about the, the coil of tubing here and uh, we're gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably do that on another video here so anyhow this is what I've been up to check it out you guys little water manometers these things are cool very useful in our uh, investigations welcome to the inner sanctum you know maybe we can get this thing done thanks a lot for watching